Hey there and welcome back. So today is the long-awaited video where I compare the Garrison 9 Complex Cream to the Son Bayou Number no. 7 Facial Cream Slash Oil. But before I get into that, I wanted to talk to you about my face. I'm actually wearing one foundation on the right side and one foundation on the left side and I'm chronicling their journey throughout the day on my Instagram story. So if you want to see how super oily skin handles two different types of foundation, the Estee Lauder Double Wear and the Lancome Tent Adol, please follow me there and check my Instagram story. Now, I'll quit horsing around and get straight to the comparison after I summarize the horse oil procuring process and why it is used as a beauty product. So in the videos where I did a deep dive on these two products, I mentioned the process to procure horse oil and why it's beneficial for the skin. And I thought it'd be remiss if I didn't mention it here as well. So just to quickly summarize and make sure all my bases are covered, there's two ways to get horse oil. The first way is very similar to the process in which people harvest lanolin from sheep's wool. The horse is still alive at the end of the process. They harvest it from the subcutaneous fat layer. It's a bit like horse liposuction or they take the oil from the mane and tail. The second way is that it's a byproduct of the horse meat trade which is very very widespread in Europe and East Asia where people consider horse meat a delicacy and a simple byproduct of that exchange is just using the oil in cosmetic products. But please rest assured that no horses are specifically targeted for their oil and their fat is just simply a byproduct of the existing horse oil trade. Without further ado, why do people even use horse oil? So horse oil actually has a very, very long history, especially in ancient East Asia. It was originally found referenced in a very old ancient Chinese medicine journal and eventually it was spread to other East Asian nations like Japan, Korea, Vietnam, etc. But back then people used horse oil as a cure-all salve. So basically if you had sore muscles they used it to treat that, if you had cuts and burns they'd use horse oil to speed up the healing process, and if you had a chronic skin disease like eczema you'd use horse oil to soothe it, or even if you had a temporary skin disease like a hive reaction or a rash you'd use horse oil to soothe your skin. But a problem or a question that we weren't able to answer until today is why it was so effective. To answer this question, I looked at three studies, one published in the 1950s in the US, one published in 2003 in Japan, and another published in 2014 in Korea. The first study just looked into the overall composition of the horse oil and why it was so special. The second compared it to other livestock fats and other animal fats. And the third actually took a deep dive look of how horse oil affects the skin in terms of promoting collagen growth, being anti-inflammatory, and being antibacterial. So I'll link those studies down below if you're curious, but I found them to be pretty interesting. So I want to give the disclaimer that I don't have a science background, but I read the abstracts and I wanted to make sure that I understood what they were trying to say with their studies, and I basically tried to do internet sleuthing to make sure what I was extrapolating out of their data was actually what they were saying. So this is what I gathered. Horse oil is so beloved by human skin because it really closely resembles human oil and sebum that we produce anyway. It's really low in steric and palmitic acid, and those are saturated fatty acids that you find in other livestock fats, like cows and pigs, and stuff that humans don't really have in our oil anyway. But the key difference is, is that horse oil is very, very high in alpha linolenic acids and linoleic acids. And those are omega-6 and omega-3 derived vitamins that help with anti-inflammatory properties and restore your moisture barrier. So those are the big star ingredients that make horse oil as amazing as it is. There's even some research saying that alpha linolenic acid and linoleic acid can even help the skin repair UVB damage. So these are definitely some star ingredients and there's definitely more modern research in the east than there is in the states or in the west. 
Regarding my own philosophy about these products, I had a really interesting conversation with Vipeet, or Vipeet, sorry for pronouncing your name wrong, but I've just copied and pasted that and pinned it in the comment section below. I think that says everything I want to say, and I don't want to go on forever in this video. So let's get into the actual comparison and quit horsing around. So straight up facts. Obviously Garrison is made in Korea using German sourced horse oil, whereas Sun Bayou is made in Japan using Japanese sourced horse oil. The Garrison cream retails for 15 to 16 dollars and can easily be purchased from Julesay or Mimi Box. You can also purchase it from Amazon, but I would be wary of fakes and fake sellers. Sonbayu is domestically purchased within Japan for around 16 dollars. However, getting it here in the States is a bit harder if you don't live in California. As I mentioned in the Sonbayu video, they have a Californian distributor, but on Amazon, a single jar of this number seven face cream retails for 28 dollars. And I myself, purchased it in a third-party store for $35. The actual texture of the products reflect the difference in their ingredients. The Garrison 9 Complex is a thick buttery cream that sinks evenly into the skin, but you do need to wait a little bit before putting on makeup or else you'll appear really greasy. Where the Sonbayu is just, again, 100% pure horse oil, so even though it's advertised or marketed as a cream, it really goes on more like an oil in a semi-solid state. And and I would say you could put makeup on over it, it just feels heavy and both creams need significant wait time before going outside with that makeup look on your face. They both claim overall skin health and trace their claims back to the ancient medicinal journals that I mentioned before, but let me get into how I use these creams, my preference, and my experiences with them. So before we get into the nitty gritty, I would like to say that these are both really great products. I've seen them both improve my skin a significant amount, but I think they serve slightly different purposes. And I'll tell you a little bit more after I talk about the Garrison 9 Complex Cream. So I've been using this for the longest. I've been using it for a year and a half, maybe two years now. Time flies, I can't really remember, but this is essentially my fourth jar of the product or my third jar again can't really remember but i've been using it for a very long time in the am and pm and it's made my skin very moisturized there's something to be said for you know moisturizing your face because i think a big problem of me having acne was that my skin was really just freaking out because i was constantly drying it out but not putting enough moisture back in and this for the first time in a long time was a really heavy thick moisturizer that my skin liked and the ingredients in here again the niacinamide the snail secretion etc etc they all helped my skin heal and retain moisture better so this cream is pretty amazing. I would definitely recommend it. It's really nice, especially to beginner horse oil users because it smells like orange. It's really easy to put on. It's really thick. It's really good for the winter. But I will say that I did find some before and after pictures of people using this cream specifically to treat acne scars and the results they have are super dramatic. And I don't know if this was like officially condoned by Garrison or this was released by Garrison. I did find it on like a third party site that sells official Garrison products, but the results that those people had were super dramatic. It would go from like a huge pit of a scar to like almost perfectly normal skin. And again, since this is my fourth jar of product, I feel like I haven't even had that dramatic a result on my like acne scars and that's like my main concern right now is just evening out my skin tone and making sure my acne scars are a little bit less deep. So in terms of moisturizing my skin, in terms of being a great cream for someone who is very acneogenic, oily, and sensitive, like I would highly recommend this, but specifically for scar treatment, I didn't really see a huge difference there. So I recommend this for AM and PM use, especially if you have dry skin. If you have oily skin, you might want to ease into it, only do AM for a while, and if you really like it, do AM and PM. But again, patch test and do what's best for you. Everybody's skin is different. The Sonbayu Facial Cream is definitely a nighttime only use product where I didn't really see a lot of 
acne immediate help with the Garrison 9 Complex Cream, I feel like I see it with the Sonbayou Number no. 7 Facial Cream. Like I mentioned in that video, whenever I have acne or it's like a really boil-like, angry, cystic pus pouch of a pimple, I put this on at night and even though it might not kill it like salicylic acid, sulfur, benzoyl peroxide would, I do feel like this helps my skin heal faster. The redness goes away quicker. It changes from that big, bright, angry red spot to a dull healing red much faster. And I feel like just in terms of ingredients, the 100% horse oil is a little bit more effective than the superstar ingredient list here in terms of just healing your skin straight up. But I will say that this is so heavy. It's it's 100% oil, so it's definitely not going to soak into your skin as easily as the Garrison 9 Complex Cream. This is definitely, I would say, a nighttime only treatment. And for people that use this during the AM and PM, you are so strong. Like, I don't know how you do it, or I guess you must have really dry skin and I'm sorry. But when I used this product, I did try as an experiment one day to use it in the AM. and. I put on my makeup as normal. Everyone in my family said it looked fine, but it just felt so heavy. I didn't like it, and I've relegated this only for PM use. So I really like this product. It's a super balm for your face if you have like a breakout and you want to help turn over the skin. But Usually a product like this would make me really nervous as someone who is super acneogenic, super oily. I think it's because I built up my tolerance to horse oil and really started regularly incorporating it into my routine through Garrison that my skin was able to tolerate this so well. So I would definitely see how your skin reacts to this first before going like all in, full on application every night of horse oil. and. They market this as being safe for everybody. It's a natural product. You can use it on your babies. You can use it if you have sensitive skin, but just to prevent an adverse reaction, make sure you do your research of things that your skin likes and doesn't like when using these two products. So that's my long-winded comparison of the two. I think they're both really effective. They both help my skin in terms of staying moisturized, turning over redness, helping me keep my acne at bay, but it's definitely an acquired taste and I would recommend, if anything, starting out with the Garrison 9 Complex Cream. And if you're looking to incorporate more heavy horse oil or more heavy horse oil products into your routine, then upgrading to the Song Bayou number no. seven. But with both of these, again, they just serve different purposes. Right now I'm using them both at the same time, using this in the AM and this in the PM, and I feel like my skin looks pretty good. So definitely use these as you see best. You know your skin routine better than me. I really like these two. I would definitely purchase them again, but will I purchase them again when they run out? I'm not going to go out of my way to. If I see it, if there's a good deal available, maybe I will, but the Garrison one, like I said before, is running out and I'm looking for a lighter AM moisturizer that I can use during the summer that's not as heavy as this one so I don't have to use the pore corset on top of it. And for this guy, I feel like I can get a night cream. Again, just exploring my options out there that isn't so heavy on my face. So definitely love these products, definitely open to purchasing them again. Will I purchase them again? I think the cosmetics world is too large to commit to one product for your entire life. So I'll keep you updated on what my skin routine is, but in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. And if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. If you like the video, you might like some of the others on my channel and feel free to subscribe. You don't have to if you don't want to, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I'm by you number seven facial oil. Before, before we get into that, where is this siren going? Is it going here? Is it going there? Who knows? Sirens!